Hey everyone, it's Stephanie, Registered Holistic Nutritionist here. Um, I am taking you into my bathroom today <laughs> with me. Um, I've had a couple of people ask the types of things I have in my medicine cabinet since I don't use um, pretty much any man-made products, um, any prescription, anything. I do definitely believe there is a specific time and place where prescription medication is needed. I'm not saying that's something that we shouldn't have in our lives, but majority of the time you can use something that's um, like a natural alternative that does the exact same thing. And instead of um, having a list of all these negative side effects that come with it, um, it's kind of an ongoing joke that I have um, with a couple of people just watching the commercials on TV and <laughs> it'll list the product and the actual commercial itself is about 15 seconds and then the whole rest of like three quarters of the rest of the um, commercial is them listing all of these negative side effects that come with it. So the benefit of choosing something natural where you can is that the list of side effects are all positive and actually have a positive effect on your body and help with, you know, various other things. So here we go looking into my medicine cabinet. Um, here we go. So I'm going to zoom in. Actually, I'm going to see if I can just turn this around as I'm talking to you. Nope, that's a picture. Nope, never mind. Okay. So this is what my medicine cabinet looks like. So I don't have basically everything in here is all natural. So I'll go through everything with you guys and explain what I use them for and why I have them. Um, so starting here on the top left is sweet almond oil. So this is what I use to mix with all of my essential oils that you see at the bottom here. Um, that's what I use to put in my roller bottles to, um, just diluting it because sometimes the essential oils, um, are a little bit too strong or too potent to be put directly onto the skin. So if you have sensitive skin or some of them should be diluted anyways, or when you're kind of making up a roller bottle, for example, uh, my flu bomb that I made, um, you roll it on your pulse points in your body, uh, bottom of your feet, and it helps you get over your colds a lot quicker, helps build your immune system, stuff like that. So this is filled with um, almond oil as well as the um, selected oils to make up that little concoction. Um, next, I have some sunscreen here. Um, now, I've switched... This is not the one that I normally use. This is one I have in here. Um, this is a really, really great brand, the Badger Band brand, but I find with this one, since the main component is zinc, it's actually, like it goes on really white and it's really hard to rub into the body. So it works amazingly well. It's all natural. There's no parabens in it. There's no harsh chemicals as what comes with a lot of sunscreens, you guys. You need to really start to read the labels of things that you're putting into your body and on your body because everything you put onto your skin, your skin is a sponge. It gets absorbed into your body, into your skin, into your bloodstream, and um, it affects your hormones. It affects your hormone balance. It's... <sighs> You know, a, a lot of people get stressed out at the saying they say everything causes cancer. And that's not entirely true. It is to an extent, but it's also not because unfortunately we're leading our lives in a very fake direction right now. So genetically modified foods, um, packaged foods that are not actually made from real food at all, um, and then synthetic chemical filled things that we're putting onto our skin. So of course we're going into the direction of more disease and cancer and more crazy hormone imbalances and, and girls getting their periods when they're like six years old. Like that is not normal. Even period symptoms, PMS symptoms, that is not normal. That is having a hormone imbalance and that's something that you need to look into and that can be corrected through food and adjusting little parts of your lifestyle. Like for example, removing all the chemical crap from your cupboards. Like go and take a look at all the stuff that you put on your skin, your face cream, your makeups, um, everything. There is a natural alternative to everything that'll still give you the look that you want or um, the protection that you want, for example. So anyways, I do use something different now. Um, getting a little sidetracked there. I'm just super passionate about this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, this is great. It's awesome. I will use it when I'm in a pinch. 
But I have another one that I bring with me in my bag because this one's, like I said, is a little bit hard to rub in. Um, next, this is a little concoction I made. There's coconut oil in here and I have put together um, deep blue is what I've mixed in with here and breathe. And those are two oils that help to open up the airways and really help you to breathe the unclogged stuffy noses and stuff. Um, Lana was a little bit sick the other day, so I used that. Um, is the exact same benefit as Vicks Vapor Rub. So instead of using that on your body, you can use this exact same thing and it'll do the same, it has the same benefit um, to you for that. Next, this little guy here is my own carpet deodorizer that I made. I I honestly, I make as much stuff as I can um, and I don't have all the time in the world. So this stuff is so easy to make. It's not even funny. You just go out and grab yourself a little jar, fill it with baking soda and put in desired drops of essential oils and there you go. So tea tree is a really good one. Purify is another really good one to um, lift odors and um, disinfect antibacterial stuff like that. I have in here um, tea tree, lavender, peppermint, and I think lemon, and sprinkle it over your floors, leave it for 15 minutes, and um, vacuum it up. Works the exact same, and all, no chemicals. So um, next thing is dark detox. This is um, a tooth whitener, actually. So I got it from a couple of girls on the island. I will tag their business in here so that you know where to get this from but it is activated charcoal that you so this is what it looks like inside you just dip your toothbrush in here and you brush three times a week and it helps to whiten your teeth so that is a natural alternative to those crest white strips or anything else that you might be putting on there to whiten your beautiful teeth um aloe vera gel i use that for um, sunburns and i also use that for a couple of mixtures with my oils um, here are just some general like electrolyte stuff when Landon's sick or if he's been throwing up, um, or has diarrhea, is stuff to replace the electrolytes in the body as well. Coconut water is also really good for that. Um, <clears throat> a couple of more natural things for colds, um, bug repellent. This is a little sticky patch that you put on you. So it has citronella and what else in here? Citronella and eucalyptus. Deep immune for kids, so when Lannan's starting to get a cold, I will use this and put it in a drop of water, get him to down it. Um, helps to boost up his immune system, so I'll use this combined with the flu bomb, uh, combined with these on guard little beadlets. Um, these are also, this is a protective blend, this also helps to boost your immune system and keep away those nasty things. And this is the beadlet form, so they're super tiny and Landon will actually, he's able to swallow them, he's only five, so... Um, Got to be careful not to burst those in your mouth, though, because they are, it's very strong tasting, very strong clove, and he did one of them by accident and was just like, had to down a big glass of water, but anyways, moving on, uh, cough and cold stuff, all natural, um, and then these are all of my oils at the bottom. So these are used for so, like, basically everything in your house, so the essential the Home Essentials kit is the basic kit that I get. Most people, just, I suggest that most people start off with. Um, has all of your top 10 oils in it and you can use it for almost anything. Um, I'll go through a couple of them with you, I, I guess. I don't want to take up too much of your time. This is just showing you my cabinet, but um, let's go through a little bit of it. So Clary Calm, this is not in the Home Essentials kit. Um, it can be purchased separately, but this one helps to helps with the hormone balance. So you rub this on your tummy. This has helped alleviate so many, pretty much all of my PMS symptoms. Like I said, they're not normal. So adjusting your food intake and then helping using this to help balance your hormones um, is really going to get you on track. I virtually have no, I get a little bit irritable now, but compared to what I was before, it's like night and day, you guys. It's, being a little bit irritable is like a godsend <laughs> compared to what I was. I had major cramps, my boobs get really sore. I'd be extremely irritable, not just a little bit, like, you know, a lot. Um... Anyways, yeah, so digest then. This is the digestive blend that I use, so that's in here. Um, tummy upset, bloating, gas, all that kind of stuff, um, acid reflux, that is what the digest then is used for. Again, there's my flu bomb, 
What else is here? Oregano, On Guard, this is the protective blend. Frankincense, hidden right back here. That's uh, a really good one for your skin. So I actually put a couple drops in my moisturizer. Um, helps with um, wrinkles and evening out skin tone and helping just to balance all that kind of stuff. It's great. Um, this is one of my new oils, cedar wood. I don't actually know a lot of the benefits from that, but I'm excited to try it. Balance is one for emotional support. As you can see, I have two bottles there. <laughs> um, it really helps um, to get your emotions in check. And when you're feeling overwhelmed or you're struggling with depression or anxiety or anything like that, balance is a really good one to help um, keep you in, in, in check and help to balance everything out. So balance, it's perfect. Um, everybody goes through ups and downs in your life. And when you're feeling particularly stressed, um, mental fog, all that kind of stuff. This will help to alleviate that for you. Breathe is the one that I told you I put in here. On guard blend. Lemon. I use that um, if I'm in a pinch. So normally I will, <laughs> closing the cupboards now, I will use the lemon if I don't have like I, I'm always for real foods first. So if I don't have a real lemon on hand, I will use the lemon in my water as um, something to just take on the go that's really super easy. So sorry, I'm just kind of rushing to get out the door here, but I just wanted to give you guys a little peek as to what I keep in there. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. Um, if you are looking for a natural alternative for something that I something that you're curious about, you want to know an alternative to that, um, just post in the comments and I will um, do my best to give you an alternative um, to whatever you're wanting help with. So hopefully this was interesting for you guys enough and I just basically want to shine the light on you guys to show you that you don't have to resort to man-made stuff first. So I'm a firm believer in trying the natural alternative stuff first and if it really doesn't work or it's something that's really severe, then take um, appropriate measures after that. But I haven't needed to in a really long time. And I'm really glad I've really honestly noticed a difference in my body and the way that I feel. And, um, you know, I used to struggle being tired all the time. I was tired all the time. Um, I needed an afternoon nap in the day. My hormones were all over the place. Like I said, I had really bad cramping. Um, I actually suffered from endometriosis for quite a few years and have corrected that now through um, diet. I actually had to have two surgeries for that and it, they came back both times. So I resorted to, um, not resorted to, but I changed my food and changed what I was putting into my body and I haven't had any problems. So yeah, again, if you have questions, let me know. And hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Have a good day. Bye.